Hello everyone, it's Maivi. Welcome to part 2 of my fairy house video. In this part of the video, I'll be showing you how I painted the house using Arteza acrylic paints who have kindly sent me their set of 60 acrylic colours. If you haven't seen part 1 of this video yet and you want to see how I sculpted the house first, then click on the link in the top right corner of this video or find it in the description. Now let's open the box, shall we? On the box you'll find a list of all the colours together with specs such as light fastness and opacity. I had to google what light fastness was and it's basically how resistant a colour is when exposed to light. When I started using acrylic paints years ago, I didn't know that some of them were transparent and I genuinely thought that there was something wrong with mine. So having this information about colour transparency and opacity is really helpful for beginners who might not be aware of this effect. If you're getting curious about Arteza's acrylic paints and you'd like to try them out, you can use the coupon code in the description to get 10% off your purchase. You can also visit the Arteza YouTube channel for more inspiration. I'll leave the link in the description. Now let's get to work. I'm going to start by painting the entire house black. This will create a lot of contrast when I add the other colours and it will make the process of shading easier as the dark colours will be already there. I like to make sure I'm painting every single nook and cranny so that the effect is the best that it can be. Sometimes wiggling the brush into more difficult areas so that the paint fills any spaces. Something I did throughout the painting of the house was to hold it up against the light. Because I used a semi-translucent clay I was able to see where I needed to apply more paint. To paint the spongy looking things, I first added a wash of black as it was easier to make it go in all the holes and then painted them again normally. Once the first coat was dry, I turned the house upside down to see what areas I had missed, especially under the tiles and finished painting them. Once that had dried, I applied a second coat and let it dry completely. Next I broke off a few tiles to give it a more rustic look and finish painting them. When the paint was dry I went on to dry brush white paint on the entire house. Having a white base will make all the colours really stand out and it will create a nice contrast with the black foundation. If you're used to painting polymer clay, there's a chance you might have noticed that some acrylic paints can feel tacky to the touch, even after days of it being applied. Well, with these paints, that really didn't happen. It was maybe a little tacky at the beginning, but it got better, and the more layers of paint I applied, the better it got, which is a super nice feeling. There's nothing wrong with the paint feeling a little tacky. Uh, usually when you apply a coat of varnish, it goes away, so... I don't know, it's just, it was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I 
I was so impressed with how vibrant the colours were, especially as I decided to go for a very colourful roof. I started by applying mauve pale on the bottom, trying to make it lighter as I moved up the roof. Next I applied magenta light, trying to blend it with the mauve pale and making it more intense as I moved upward with the brush. This turned out to be my favourite colour out of those I used. This mid-yellow is so vibrant and it created a beautiful orange colour when blended with the magenta. On the tip of the roof I applied viridian green mixed with the same yellow and some white and blended it with the yellow. Here I'm dry brushing a little orange from mixing that mid yellow and magenta together and applying it almost all over the yellow and here and there because I loved it so much I needed more of it. <laughs> Then I went back in with more green mixed with some burnt amber to make the green on the tip a bit darker. And this is my finished fairy house. My family had varied reactions when they saw it, although it wasn't finished. My mum and my auntie said it was amazing, my dad asked if it was a house from the movie Alien, and my brother thought all black looked really cool. <laughs> all cool with me, I really think it looks like the Wumpy Willow. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think it looks like, I'd really like to know. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know. And if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Maeve. I like to make weird and wonderful things out of polymer clay. So if you'd like to join in the weirdness and follow my journey, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so you never miss any of my uploads. Don't forget to check out Arteza's YouTube channel for more inspiration and don't forget to use the coupon code they've prepared especially for you to get 10% off on Arteza products. I hope you have a great, amazing, wonderful day and I'll catch you later. Bye! Ciao ciao! Hello everyone, it's Maeve. Welcome to part 2 of my hair... My hair... <laughs> my hairy hat.